Okay, everyone is here. We actually have two more minutes. Time is especially of the essence. Any questions before we start? In this afternoon Viking studies class at the University of Minnesota. What do we see here in this picture? Especially when you consider the beginning of this saga. So you think, you think it's going to happen? Could really be the end. The end of the world. And are we there right now? Dr. Lena Norman is one of the world's foremost experts on the Vikings. Everything is over. Everything is dark. And today's lesson isn't just lore. He awakens all the gods who then hold an assembly. To some scholars, it's a long-awaited warning. A Viking apocalypse on the 22nd of February 2014. The Nordic Doomsday. What is Ragnarok? Is predicted for this weekend. So in order for us to understand what Ragnarok is, we have to understand the beginning and the creation of this world. The Ragnarok mythology begins with a host of gods. We have Ymir, an anthropomorphic figure, we have the little giants, and we have a cow. Then, the key blowing of a horn is a signal the skies will split. The sun and moon will be swallowed by wolves. They know that Ragnarok is coming. And in this battle to end all battles, only a few of the gods will survive. If it happens, then everyone's going to need to go get a sword. <laughs> And another sign Ragnarok is coming is something we've seen here in Minnesota with three consecutive cold winters. Do we have an extreme winter this year? The polar vortex is probably the best evidence it has going for it. But rest assured, the students studying this prophecy promise it isn't like all the others. It's a much more fun apocalypse than the since some of the other religions. At the end of it, it kind of is more like a rebirth afterwards rather than just everything being destroyed. So we can be optimistic about Ragnarok. It doesn't just mean the end of everything. So sure, it could be the end of the world as the Vikings know so it. So we have a lesson to learn. But Dr. Norman says the angry gods finally find paradise. So this story's end. We are not making plans for Monday. Could really be a beginning. And hopefully, we'll all be fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> In Minneapolis, Lindsay Sievert, CARE 11 News. Saturday.